As you probably know by now, we found out today when and who the Bills will play this season across the pond in London. The game will be Sunday, October 8th, about 20 miles north of central London at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's about an hour's drive north of the big tourist spots. Tottenham, sorry, if you were thinking of traveling to the game, the cheapest plane ticket that we could find from the Buffalo Airport was around 800 bucks. It includes multiple stops, long travel days. Also, if you want to go, you have to register online so that you'll be able to buy tickets once they're released. This is the Bills' second game in Europe. You might remember Buffalo lost to Jacksonville in 2015 in London. Our team was there and tracked down a Bills fan from Rochester living there at the time. Yeah, but Bills is my team, and I will be at this game Sunday. You will be? Yes. Okay, mister. This is my team playing. <laughs> hey, when we lost last week, uh, last week was a good game. Here's hoping for a different outcome this time around, though, because we lost last time. If you plan to watch the game here at home, kickoff will be early, 930 in the morning, Buffalo time. Joining us live right now from England, where it's almost 11 o'clock at night, is Matt Swain. He is chairman of the UK Bills backers. Matt, I appreciate you taking some time for us. I know uh, you talked with us earlier today as well, and you talked to us back in 2015 when our team was there uh, covering this then. What was your reaction when you found out, and you mentioned to me a moment ago, finally the Bills are are returning to London after all these years? I think, to be honest, first of all, thank you for having me um, have me on. Uh, it's, to be honest, it's, it, it's just a whirlwind. It's just like a whirlwind of emotion. There's eight years in the making. I mean, every year, well, after, after the first couple of years, after the first game, I was always going, the international game's coming up. Who's going to be there? Who's going to be there? Let's hope it's Buffalo. Let's hope it's Buffalo. And obviously, as soon as it was announced in January, I think I literally just jumped and shouted in the in the in my work <laughs> van that I was that excited about um, about it coming um, about the bills coming over. Um, I was out. It was actually funny because I was out out of signal, out of phone signal. Got back into it, and all of a sudden, my phone just literally exploded all over the place with messages and and texts and all that. And that's when it really hit that the bills are coming back to London, and now we know it's going to be. What I like to call a revenge game against the um, against the Jaguars. Yeah, absolutely. And when we think back to that game from then until now, I want to ask you how the fan base has grown or changed there. I mean, the team has obviously changed a lot, right? Things didn't look so great for us um, back in those days. Now with Josh Allen and company, sort of a different team on the field. Um, how would you describe how the fan base in London has changed? It's actually started to grow a little bit more. I think now. We've hit. We've come out the um, the drought period, and we've since Josh Allen and, and Brandon Bean, Sean McDermott, have been on here. The stock of the Bills in in the UK has risen, 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 risen along, and and obviously it's down to the way we actually play. And some people are now starting to resonate with with Bills being the underdogs to start with, to becoming the um, the hunted, so the hunted to hunted type type story, and. The UK Bills, we, we've grown a lot. So I think 2013 we started up. April last year was our 10 year, um, 10 years that we've been together, um, and we've just grown a lot. We've got our own little um, bar in um, in London, the Fitzrover Bell, and we've got quite a few events that we've got planned for this week, this or well, this October, um, to hopefully outdo what we did back in um, 2015, which was a roaring success. Yeah, absolutely. It's fun to look back at the stories that we did in 2015. Um, I've got less than a minute left, Matt. Correct my pronunciation of the name of the stadium and give me a sense of what's going to be happening there. Do you guys, do you tailgate? What What are you going to be doing come October? Well, it's, tot it's Tottenham. Tottenham, yes, sorry. It's probably my Tottenham. That's probably my accent actually going to make it sound a lot, a lot weirder than that. But it's Tottenham Hotspur uh, Stadium and Really, we're offering, we're going to be putting on a uh, bus tour um, around all the sites of um, of London, mainly central, so like Buckingham Palace, um, Westminster, um, London Eye, that sort of stuff. We've got a boat a boat party on the on the Saturday where we're going up and down the Thames at um, at night, so you see the lights of, um, of London. And hopefully on Saturday during the day, We'll be having, um, hopefully, a meet and greet with a fair few um, Bills alumni, and we've had so many, so many come. We've had Aaron Williams come here um, in the Thanksgiving game, I believe. Um, the ex-Bill safety. I met Marcel Darius back in <laughs> in 2015, 
and we've had I, I do a podcast and we've had so many current and ex players on there and some of them are expressing the interest in, in coming so yeah, to all the Bills Mafia out there if you can get a ticket and come along come along enjoy London enjoy partying with the um, with UK Bills and we'll see you in, we'll see you in London in October that's right uh, we so appreciate your time Matt we're all fighting over who's going to get to go cover it for us uh, we'll see you in October Matt Swain chairman of the UK Bills backers we appreciate your time